my name is Cindy Williams. I'm the market manager for the St. Phillips Plaza market and the social media manager for the St. Phillips Plaza. So our market has been here for 17 years. What you see here, everything is handmade, uniquely Tucson artwork. We have everything from clay pottery. We have plants and cactus from our local desert areas. We have hand poured candles. We have authentic Mexican merchandise and Native American merchandise. Just about any kind of art from any kind of media. What I love so much is to nurture Tucson's local art community, make sure that they have a gathering place. So that's what I get out of it. It's very rewarding. We went to three or four different markets, ended up loving this one. We've been coming to the market here at St. Fields Plaza for about a year and a half. The atmosphere is fantastic with the grass and the trees and the courtyards and all of the restaurants and the businesses around. The other thing is people bring their dogs through here and so you get to see dogs, there's live music. So my name is Mike Young. I'm the owner of Busted Bark Woodshop. We started by our love of cooking, first off. Created a couple cutting boards for ourselves. From there, it kind of took off. We saw an opportunity to use locally sourced hardwoods. So in particular, the mesquites that we use are all sourced locally from Tucson. The other hardwoods we use are all bought here in Tucson from Tucson businesses, but they're sourced from all over the world. The most satisfying thing for us is being able to sell a product to somebody and tell them where it came from, how it was made, how to care for it, and to know that they're going to display it or use it in their house for many, many years. And um, hopefully hand down to different generations. It should be wonderful. Yeah. It means the war. I mean, I love it. Uh, I feel free and I feel very happy to interact with all these beautiful people, especially all these people that come from everywhere. We get people from Italy, New York, Chicago, Colorado, Texas. So it's great to be here outdoors. You know, you, you feel free and, and I'm just happy. Claudia Duz. I sell the Mexican artisan's clothing. I've been doing this for four years. Oaxaca, Chiapas, Tlaxcala, San Cristobal de las Casas, Guerrero, Guadalajara, Mexico. Everything is from Mexico. I make these pieces right here and, then, and it's sold by hand. Each piece right here it comes with a bracelet and also with the earrings. It takes about three months to finish. The name of this set is a hundred flowers because in reality it is a hundred flowers. And this one over here is a sunflower set. It's very pretty. Double side, you can wear it like this or you can wear it like that. It takes about a couple months. It's all by hand, it's all beating. You know, you start like a playing around when you are a kid, you know, making little bracelets and then you start learning from some other people watching videos and then you get the hang of it, you know, and then you find that this is what you really like to do. I love it, I love what I do. So my name is Gabriella Boudreau. I own a small CBD company. We are family owned and we've been in business about five years. My younger brother battled cancer for about four years and that was kind of a window for uh, my family to uh, learn about alternative and plant medicine. So we learned a lot about um, hemp at that time and cannabis in general and its medicinal properties. I fell in love with plant medicine at that point. It's just become a passion of mine. People use it for all kinds of aches and pains. Um, but So we do a lot of research on terpenes, which are the aromatic compounds found in cannabis. They're highly therapeutic. Uh, we do a lot of research around cannabis for pain relief, that kind of thing. And CBD works the same way in all mammals. They all have an endocannabinoid system, so CBD produces a, a similar physiological effect in dogs and cats as it does with humans. It has a, a lot of uses for dogs. A lot of people use it for anxiety, for behavioral issues, um, management of inflammation, that kind of thing. I am Tom Marquis and I've been at the market here for eight years now. I just come on Saturdays. This is all made out of mesquite wood. The blue in it is turquoise and it's from Arizona. If you look on the back of everything, it'll be my name, Tom Marquis, Tucson, Arizona, the date, and it's numbered 
uh, 53. I have no idea what I'm making when I start. I put it on my lathe and I just round it and I wait for the voids to appear and the voids then dictate what actually the shape is. So I start with actually chunks of turquoise and I bust them up and make them into granule pieces. I start with the bigger and form that in there. It's time consuming. You have to keep formed as close as you can. And then when you get it kind of in there, you have to sand and sand and sand and sand and sand. An average piece takes me 20 to 25 hours to make. I was a math teacher for years. When you retire, you need something to do. And this is what I have folded into because it's a, a hobby that pays for itself eventually. It does not make you any money, but it pays for itself. It's like free golf is what I always consider it to be. My name is Deb Montoya, and I love to recycle all kinds of materials to make wind chimes and sun catchers, and some are combinations of the two. So I shop at yard sales, estate sales, occasionally an old dump. I really enjoy the treasure hunt and find lots of rusty things or shiny things. And I specifically want things that aren't gonna deteriorate in the sun because Tucson is really hard on plastic and, and fishing line and things like that. So I use all metal components. So my wind chimes hold up really well. I tried to find something that would appeal to people. So it's like big jewelry. And so I just evolved into that. And I also got tired of my wind chimes breaking down. And it re I really love when people like my stuff. It's, it's really fun to share all my stories and all my wind chimes with the people that come through here.